Hi everyone, it's me, Maria Fontana, your favorite intuitive business and empowerment coach. And today I am gonna to talk to you about a subject that comes up all the time with my coaching clients and it's come up with me in my life personally. So it's a delicate subject. So I posted something yesterday and it said, I'm quitting. Now, the response I had to that negative comment was amazing, it was astronomical. What happened? Everyone just assumed I was talking about quitting a career, a job, something I'm doing. So I thought that was really interesting how the human mind works, how as humans we immediately correlate quitting with your job, your career, what you're doing. You know, maybe you're not happy at something. So people automatically, 90% of the comments were about work. Don't quit. You know, don't, you're doing great. Don't quit. You know, you're not a quitter. And I have to say thank you to all the people that know me for a long time. And some of you that don't, thank you so much for reaching out and giving me such positive feedback. I totally appreciate it. But it's not about me. What I want to talk today is about you, what you're going through, where you're stuck, where you feel like quitting, and what you really do need to quit, and what you need to cut the shit and stop talking about quitting. So first things first, guys. If you're a coach, a creative, a service provider, a spiritual entrepreneur, if you are none of those things, or maybe you want to be one of those things, and perhaps you are a business owner or someone who's shifting careers or maybe you're just sick of your nine to five and you're ready to step out of it and do something to be your own boss but you're paralyzed with fear or you're just afraid of quitting and going to something new because you're afraid of being judged you don't feel good enough you don't feel strong enough you don't feel like you have enough support or you're really second guessing what your intuition is telling you to do. So first and foremost, these are the two things that I'm only gonna give you two top tips that I use daily in my life. And I do share these with my clients because the truth of the matter is guys, I'm an intuitive business coach and consultant, right? But I'm also an empowerment consultant and it's so much more than that because it's mindset, it's strategy, it's real life, things that come up that need to be worked out because we're all humans. So building a business, building an empire, building a 5K a month business to a 50K a month business takes the same groundwork and the same mindset strategies. You have to do your energy work, your mindset work, your healing work to be a successful entrepreneur. This is my strategy. This is what has worked for me. This is what has worked for my clients and for myself in all the years when I had to reinvent myself, right? Let's talk about reinventing yourself. How many of you have had to reinvent yourself because your life changed, the shit hit the fan, and you had to figure out how to adjust and change things? Now, this holds true even in relationships, in your marriage, with your partners, your spouses, with your family, with your friends. This is a life lesson. So number one is, when it's time to quit, make sure you're quitting what you're quitting because it's no longer serving you. Be really clear on that. When things no longer serve us and they no longer bring us joy or they no longer have a purpose in our lives, it's okay to let go. Because if we don't quit and let go of that old dance, we cannot have room to attract new good abundance into our life. Holding on to old stuff, old baggage, old pain, old habits, old jobs, old positions, old things that hold us back, they take up energy and they absorb the energy and there's no room for the universe to bring you the new stuff that you're trying to manifest. This is true. And if you think about it, if you stop for a second and just reflect on your life, think about what you need to let go of or quit that no longer serves you or brings you joy or is a part integral part of your life. So if it no longer serves your soul, you may need to reevaluate what needs to go. And sometimes that's even relationships. It may be jobs. It may be a million things. Evaluate what's really important. 
Number two in this beautiful thing we call life, and I don't care if we're talking about business, I don't care if we're talking about relationships, I don't care if we're talking about life, you have to claim it. Claim your own magic. If you don't claim your own magic and you don't love yourself and you aren't stepping into your power, your zone of genius, your supernatural gifts that, that the universe, God, the angels, whoever the heck you believe in, gave you that you were born with, I can assure you that no matter how much money you invest in a business of any kind, or in anything for that matter, if you don't claim it, own it, and believe in yourself, there is no one else that's going to believe in you. So today I make a public declaration that I no longer will hold on to anything that no longer serves me, be it emotional, psychological, physical, financial. Think about it. Think about the things that you need to change in your life and think about what's holding you back. And most likely it's because you need to make some kind of change. You need to quit something that's being toxic into your life or just taking up energetic space that's no longer serving you. And trust me, I know it's not easy. It takes courage, but building a business and building a lifestyle because being an entrepreneur is a lifestyle is a package deal and it marries your mindset, your energies with your strategies, or I can assure you, it won't work. So remember, claim your magic, claim who you are, claim your story. Sometimes the biggest breakthroughs come in our stories. Everything I talk about, there's a story behind it. Everything I share with my clients, it comes from a place of love, integrity, and truth. And you know what? There's nothing better in the online space than real people connecting, sharing their truth and sharing their story. There's only one you. Forget about everybody else around you. Forget about everyone else in your space who may be doing something similar to you. You are you and that's your superpower. So claim it, own it, and love yourself enough because once you do that, I can assure you everything else will simply follow. I want you guys to comment below. Does this resonate? I want to know how many of you actually have felt this at some time in your life and how many of you would, are going to quit something this week that is holding you back. I want to hear your feedback. I want to hear what you're quitting. I want to hear what you're getting rid of and I want to hear what you're claiming. What are you claiming and what is your superpower? And please guys, be honest, be open. I want to see where you're coming from and I want to be able to support you on your journey. If you'd like to grab a free call with me, just click the link below. I'm going to throw the link below. Complimentary strategy call. I would love to connect with you one-on-one -on -one. or if you know someone that needs some support in their mindset strategies, in their business, they need some intuitive love going on. Just share this video, share the love. I want you guys to remember, it's not all about strategy. It's about personal development coupled with strategy that makes a real successful, once again, a real entrepreneur, real entrepreneur who they are. It's a journey. I love you all. Have a beautiful day. Love and light.